Avalokiteshvara is one of the more complex of the deities in the Tantric Buddhist pantheon. Like Manjushri, uh, Avalokiteshvara has some wrathful forms. Uh, Manjushri also has some wrathful forms, but normally with both uh, figures, the, the wrathful forms have completely independent names and stand apart as deities on their own for the most part. I can really only think of one deity that is wrathful, that is the wrathful form of Avalokiteshvara, and that's the uh, Lokanata, Lokishvara, uh, Jikten Wongchuk uh, Nakpo. It's, it's a wrathful deity with uh, five faces, 12 hands, black in color, um, surrounded by fire. This is the only, the only figure I can think of that actually bears the name Avalokiteshvara. We have a number of other forms of Avalokiteshvara that are wrathful in appearance, but they have completely different names, and so you actually have to know that they they are an emanation or they are derivative of Avalokiteshvara. So some of the um, more important examples of wrathful forms of Avalokiteshvara are the... Um, First of all, the very popular deity of Hayagriva. Hayagriva is often referred to in, in early Sanskrit texts as being an attendant of, uh, uh, of Lokishvara, uh, an attendant or a servant. Uh, but, but then in other texts, then, then it's, uh, it's made quite clear that, that uh, the two are merged or they are, they are just emanations of the same entity. Um, Another one which is very popular is the six-armed, one-faced Mahakala. Uh, not all Mahakalas that are six-armed, but the, the Mahakala specific to the Shangpukagyu tradition that comes out of the eight-chapter Mahakala Tantra. This one very clearly in the Sanskrit, uh, or in the Tibetan translation of the Sanskrit, uh, makes clear that this form of Mahakala is an emanation of Lokeshvara. We also have, within the category of wealth deities and with, uh, within the category of Jambala, we have white Jambala, uh, one face, two arms, surrounded by four, possibly five, um, I really can't recall, uh, different um, goddesses. But this form of white Jambala is actually an emanation of Lokeshvara. We also have for sure, the Maharakta, the, the great red Ganapati with one face, 12 arms, uh, that uh, says in the, in the literature that it is actually Avalokiteshvara. It's very possible that all forms of Ganapati within Tantric Buddhism, it's possible that they're all said to be uh, forms of Avalokiteshvara. I do know that a number of them other than Maharakta Ganapati, are also Avalokiteshvara. But I'm not sure about all, but I think it's very possible. Uh, another deity uh, coming out of the Nyingma is the Hlachempo, which is a form actually of Shiva. We, we say Hlachempo is Shiva, the great god. But in Tantric Buddhism, uh, that's equated with uh, meaning it's derived from or an emanation of Avalokiteshvara. So similarly, in, with Manjushri, we have deities such as Vajra Bhairava, we have uh, Krishna and Rakta Yamari, then we have some forms of Yamantaka. We have all these different uh, deities in, uh, related to Manjushri. Uh, so, so these two very important figures of Avalokiteshvara and Manjushri, they often have their wrathful forms have taken on a prominence of their own and uh, do not require uh, the, the, the actual term or name Avalokiteshvara to be put in front. They have their own existence as Hayagriva or Shadbuja Mahakala or White Jambala, etc. So don't forget to press the like button. You can subscribe, you can share, you can ask questions, and you can also help support the work we do by joining Har on Patreon for exclusive videos, uh, articles, and exclusive uh, images.